two of the newer techniques are called endovenous laser ablation and radiofrequency ablation. And in that situation, a catheter is threaded through the abnormal veins and the vein is sealed shut by heating it from the inside out. You essentially accomplish the same goals as surgical stripping, but you don't have to strip the vein out. You just seal it shut from the inside. In some situations, if the veins are big enough, we will actually go and remove the varicose veins with something called phlebectomy, where you make a little tiny incision with a needle over the varicose vein and then put a hook, it looks like a crochet hook, and we'll pull out some of the veins. That's usually reserved for people who have big varicose veins. So the combination of sealing the abnormal refluxing vein with a laser or radio frequency catheter along with performing phlebectomy of the bigger veins will usually be a thorough treatment of the problem of varicose veins and venous insufficiency. Sometimes we may add sclerotherapy to that. In that situation, we inject a sclerosin or a chemical medication which kills the veins. That's particularly helpful when we're not able to perform laser of a refluxing pathway. Sometimes there are abnormal veins called perforators, which are hard to treat with laser. In another situation, people will have, instead of having bulging varicose veins, they'll have blue superficial spider veins. And those are also treated with sclerotherapy, but it's important to first make sure we treat the underlying abnormal veins with laser and phlebectomy and some of the deeper injections if, if that's a condition that the patient has.